this, this story of the apple, this story of birth and origin, creation, will take us. And that's why, as we move toward the story of the ancestors and Sophia, here we see the chalice. And this is what we had with the light above Eve. But here we see over the spines of the books of religion, we'll see how that on each spine is a unique beauty. And there is a unique story. And what's very important symbolically is that it's saying this is a library, so nothing's being lost. But that we've journeyed through all of this because we were bringing forth the, the grail, the chalice of human wisdom, which wasn't one tradition or one time or one people, but actually a condition that when we return home, we can actually engage. And that's why you could put your hand on the, in the mouth of the serpent, your other hand in this uh, over here uh, on the other side, and one becomes the loop of infinity. Do you see how we're the outpouring of this story? And it says, at the center of this story is this infant, this innocence of creation or consciousness. And when we look into its mind, we'll start to see how the story is this drop of the encyclopedia of religion, meaning that, that this drop of human curiosity wasn't something simple, but something so profound and remarkable that we needed all the spines, we needed all the time, and we journeyed through all of these ages, creating a form and a tradition that would finally let us say, now this is family and I'm the outpouring of all of this. And that's where we'll see the story of the Blossom, the story of Sophia, the mother of generation, and she's going to show us this story. She says, in my belly you see the infant, the child, and I remind you that to be human is to be as a child. You don't remember who you are. And there's a reason for that. Because in not remembering, you would take this water of infinite possibility, infinite generation, finally through beauty, connect to the seed in the heart to blossom. And that's why above her we see the blossom here in this painting. And again, it's interactive. Everything here is interactive, meaning it's we engage. So anyone standing here, the left or the alignment, the quality of the feminine, the right, the masculine discernment, come together within our human form, and we stand as the circuit, as the chalice, and here we hold our blossom. What's important in terms of this blossom, we also see how we bring the two qualities of mind together, meaning love and thought, energy and form, masculine and feminine, to take this adventure of vision. And when we do that, finally we can lift this story of the blossom off the wall here. And if we think of the quantum perspective or the, the electron as it spins, that if we know the location, we don't know the speed. And if we know the speed, we don't know the location. And this is a bit what happens here. To know our blossom, we do not see our energies. But here, when we turn away from the blossom and we turn inward, we see her and the story of the goddess, of the veiled one, of Lilith. Lilith in this story is the one who sacrifices herself so that both Adam and Eve can be innocent of what they are and who they are so that they come to this world to learn intimacy. And to be intimate, one has to forget. And she says, I dissolved the illusion of the illusion. Therefore, I veiled myself. I turned myself inward until you could blossom and carry the truth that if you look at me one way, then look at me one way, another way, and realize I am one. This is the layering of the psyche told through art in a fixed form that takes us back to our primary language of paint, storytelling, and imagination. And that's when I think we really can blossom. We realize I like this story. And that's why the apples, as we'll see here, flow up over the spines of my family photo albums and I'm convinced the ancestors in ancient times said, you see, as family, we're all one. We know our connection. But we were so curious, we took one of this possibilities of unique creation, this sense of, well, who am I then in all of this? We took a bite from that apple, we turned the corner, and as we did, as I like to put it, she turned herself inward until we could finally blossom. <laughs>